Dr. Alphonse just opened up the show with his hit song titled Oma Rano. He's here to talk to me about it. It's all about uplifting and encouraging, especially teenagers, and I need to talk all that being peer pressure. Yes. Dr. Alphonse, welcome to Waterbury. It's good to be back in quite a while. Yeah, I, the last time you were here was sometime early last year. Last I year that I went to <laughs> but I get into that. I'm glad we had that conversation on the yeah. backstage. Let's talk about Oma Rano. Oma Rano. How did the song come about? So, DJ Chronix, uh, one of the best producers in Namibia, hooked me up and said, Pastor, it was me, Pastor. Yeah. There's a song here, but it's a piano. Can you do something? I said, Yes, it's all about uplifting people. And then we went in, it was called a piano. How does the concept of gospel and a piano work together? Because I, I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard the song, I thought it was just an ordinary a piano song yeah. until I read a bit and it's like, okay, gospel. So when you look in essay, people have evolved, you know, yeah. from a quiet sort of a piano. So you need to go with the trend and see where the market is, you can't be left behind. So you always need to integrate Afrofusion, techno, anything that's happening. So for me it's all about the message, even though it's a piano, but the message, people can listen to it, even in the clubs, but it will be uplifted with the message. Yeah. I mean, the beat is very uplifting. <laughs> Yeah. What is the message behind the song? Just in case you miss it because you are like nodding your head and having a great time. Yeah. Omahano well, talks about God has given us gifts, He's yeah. given us talents. So we all have to use our talents and gifts in our respective ways, you know. If every individual can be out there and do the most they can, we can change our whole generation with a message of love, with a message of hope. That's actually one of the things you went to study, you just graduated. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah. How do you think this has somewhat affected your career? Did it yeah. pull you back a little bit, or did you, you know, get a chance to just rejuvenate and yeah. you know, so find I, some inspiration? So I'm actually a consultant, and uh, I'm also a producer, I'm a director, I'm an artist as well. So for me, it's all about. You will ask me what is Dr. Alpha? It's exactly. about doing surgery in all atmosphere, you know? Like COVID has taught, taught us a lot that you cannot be stagnant in one area, but you need to evolve, you need to explore different ways. Okay, what can we expect this year from Dr. Alpha? So this year I'm about to shoot Omahano music video on the 4th of March in Abitura Swimming Pool. So, young people, if you're out there, come by, let's shoot this music video. And I think that for the numbers that is back, I'm about to release my album as well. Awesome! So, you can expect more gospel on my piano, Afro pop, and yeah, it's coming soon. Who are you going to be working with to shoot the music video? So, uh, I'm going to shoot with Eric Mule. Eric Mule uh, is going to shoot the first video, and I've got the three projects coming out. Yeah. I mean, it's a sad day today for the music industry. Not just in South Africa, but it's a worldwide thing. Yeah. AKA's memorial service is currently taking place. Yeah. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on his death, especially seeing that he has a new girl that he has left behind? Yeah, I was just checking on YouTube as well before I came. The impact he has on the world is big, it's massive. You know, the whole world is crying out for him. You know? And I just saw so he was born on the 28th of January, 1988. I'm also 35 years, born on the 21st of January. So it's the grace of God. You know, it's not because we are more healthy than others, but God is giving us a second chance. Maybe it's a time for us to reflect and to readjust our path to Jesus Christ because it's the alpha and the finish of our faith. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Alphonse. It was great having you. Yeah! Yeah, I'm a stumper. You're coming back, right? Yeah. Final words, where can we hit you up on social media maybe? Check out Dr. Alphonse underscore at Instagram, Facebook, uh, Dr. Alphonse on YouTube, and TLO. Yeah, love you just come. If you are a gospel fan, then like Dr. Alphonse is the person that you should definitely be checking out for this year. We are talking about music videos, we are talking about albums, and looking forward to the awards as well. Check him out on social media. Heading to the DJ, DJ Lerato. We have a female DJ in studio. You know I got you. Check this out.